Hello and welcome. This is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Today, it's going to be all about scarves. Life Over 60, a very big welcome to you. Today, it's gonna to be all about something I love very much, scarves. I keep getting asking for my subscribers to do a scarf video. Well, I did one uh, a little under a year ago, so I am going to do one again, just with a, maybe a couple of ways that I wear scarves that I didn't show you, and then I'm going to show you my very favorite way that I wear a scarf. So, um, Stay with me and we're going to do a scarf wearing tutorial today. You take your square scarf, fold the two ends in, and then the other two ends so that you have a large square. It's almost like an envelope shape. Take that square. And then when you have the square, you roll it like a snake. And see you have the two ends that are rolled. You take that and you take a hairband or a rubber band and slip it over the scarf uh, against and make it tight against your neck. And then you have an unusual scarf with the two rolls. You can put it straight, uh, you can put it over to the side, however you want to do it. But it's a very easy way to wear a scarf. This also looks good with the suit jacket. All right, the next one is maybe a little bit complicated. We are going to be wearing our scarf uh, folded into a triangle, and instead of wearing it like a shawl over our shoulders, we're going to put that triangle in the front. And then bring the ends around, tuck it under, bring it out and around, and then tie just a simple square knot with the ends showing out. Then adjust the scarf so that the triangle point at the bottom is even. And again, this is great to wear under a suit jacket. Here I'm using another scarf doing the same thing. You take it in the triangle, put the triangle in the front, bring the ends around your neck, take the two ends, and then tie them loosely into a square knot. And just bring the top of the scarf that's touching the top of your neck, just bring that out a little bit and, and fold it. I'm going to do this again. See how nice that looks? But I'll do it again after this and show you what it looks like under an open neck blouse because it also looks great that way too. It just needs a little adjusted and you can bring the top of the scarf out and pleat it as much as you want. But it gives a really soft, unusual look. Even on a plain dress, it looks great. So this is what it looks like with a blouse. You again, put the triangle in the front instead of in the back. You bring the two ends, once you get the triangle up like that, bring the two ends around. Just, you know, do a little uh, tie. Bring them around like that. Try to adjust the neck. Then bring the two ends together. Tie a square knot. And you'll have a couple of little ends there. And then you can tuck them into your blouse. But this also, I've worn my black and white one with a black and white suit jacket. And it really looks very nice. Really looks beautiful. So that's in three uh, different scarves. One easy way to tie it different. And I didn't show this way on my other video. 
and I do have another video. Please, after you watch this, if you want more detailed scarf tying, I will put the link below this video and you will be able to see how the all the other ways that I tie my scarf. All right, I'm taking this very same scarf and I'm putting it into a triangle and then I'm just going to roll, 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 roll it into it's a long into a long snake like shape just like that and I'm going to tuck it through the loops of a pair of jeans uh, just you know slip it through and this is will take the place of a belt if you want more of a bohemian look uh, you can wear your t-shirt or a blouse tucked in and just put this around it. It doesn't, in really beautiful scarves, it doesn't matter what you do. You can use a plain scarf, a colorful scarf. Uh, it really doesn't matter. But just, you know, put it all through the loops. And you can wear it either in the front, just tied with a square knot. Or you can uh, put it, you know, have it kind of like tied over your hip. And I'll show that in a minute where you can just, uh, that I have that as a square knot in the front, which you can do. Or as I do here, I kind of have it uh, over to the side a little bit. But if you have a lot of scarves and different scarves, it very, gives a very nice look. If you wear sneakers or sandals, it's a great look. And now, of course, very simple. You know how to make your snake and just wrap that snake around your favorite hat. And it's a wonderful, wonderful way to uh, give different accent pieces that makes it looks like you have different hats every time. So that's really a great way. And now I'm going to show you my favorite way that I tie a scarf. I take my square scarf, I tuck the two corners in, and again, I'm going to make that long snake by just rolling it softly or folding it softly over until it's oh, about maybe you know three inches wide two or three inches wide you know you can make it as narrow or as wide as you like and then you take this long snake shape and uh, just put it around your neck from the back and bring the front before you do that though I'm gonna ask you to do something make a big knot not too tight just a soft knot on one end put it around your neck and then on the other end you're gonna make a loop like you're gonna tie a bow only it's one part of a bow then you take that loop and you slip it through the very loose knot that you have made in your scarf and once that tighten, tighten it a little bit, you know, so it doesn't hang down too far. And uh, you can fan it out a little bit to make it. But this is my easiest and my most favorite way that I do scarves. Thank you so much for joining me today for this little short tutorial. Don't forget to really do something wonderful for yourself today. Be kind to whomever crossed your path. And of course, especially in this time of great stress for us all. Let's share the love. Take care and thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you.